they're, they're making it up as they go along, trying to, to deal with this spill, because there was no preparation, no plan. There was total reliance upon the industry to build, design, engineer, and self-certify. That has to stop. We cannot allow that. We don't let that happen in aviation. Before an aircraft takes off to, to fly at seven miles in the air, you have to get it right. You have to have redundancy. You have to have backup systems. And when that aircraft comes down and is on approach to a runway, it's traveling at 165 miles an hour, the flaps deploy. When it hits the ground, the thrust reversers kick in, and next come the brakes. But any one of those is supposed to stop that aircraft. There was nothing, no backup on that blowout preventer, no backup to prevent that oil spill. That is, a, that is an insult to the people of the Gulf, uh, to the resources of the Gulf, it is within our authority to, to assure that that doesn't happen again, and this combination of measures in this uh, bill that we consider today will move us in the direction of assuring that these events don't happen again. We have to upgrade the quality of, of Coast Guard personnel, the skills of the Minerals Management Service. We have to add personnel, which we do, some 300 additional Coast Guard personnel uh, uh, in this uh, legislation to have the training and skills to deal with deep water drilling, to deal with the, uh, uh, the systems on board the vessel and those at the, uh, at the uh, wellhead at the ocean floor. Uh, the Minerals Management Service needs the same skills. Mr. Ray Hall is dealing with that issue in his committee. We have a couple of items in this bill that overlap with Mr. Ray Hall's uh, committee jurisdiction. We're going to work those things out. We need to move ahead with this now. The public are, are shocked and stunned and, and angered. Uh, that this has happened, and they want the Congress to, to, to deal with it. Uh, and, and so we're, we're going to move ahead. We're going to do that in this legislation.